What is up, YouTube? Here's in here, and we are back with another story time. And so, where we left off in the last part, we were in a dreaded fight against the solo troll. He had just murdered our stego, and now I have just looted the solo troll's body. And the items I received from him were very strange indeed. A crossbow, arrows, clothes that he was clearly not wearing, his shotgun, his ammo, and an implant. And then Famp dies. And the next thing I know, I'm being attacked from behind by a very naked, very angry person with his fist. He's now punching at me. Who is this? Backup? Was there more than one of them? I return his fist with my spear. And he sounds very angry, like I had stolen something from him. And I know this because he told me, he said, that's not cool, bro. Why are you steal from me? That's not cool. And I was like, oh, this is the same troll. What's going on? I thought he just died. I thought this is his implant. This, this, what is this? And so I engage in combat with him. I begin attacking him, but he is naked now, completely more than before. <laughs> now he no longer has his weapons. He can't shoot at me with his shotgun, and he can't shoot at me with his bow. And his spear is now gone, so now I have the upper hand. Only I did not account for exactly how much faster he was than I am. So as soon as he started to lose... Uh, and without his uh, supply of bullet bags that I now have, once I check my inventory after this is over, he immediately decides to bolt. I try to give chase, but by the time he is out of my render distance, I am not even close to him. That is how much faster he was. He must have had at least 30 more points in speed over I did. So, I begin going through my inventory. Uh, fam is now... Uh, returned from the base and now he's looting his body and he tells me his body's empty and I'm thinking okay this is weird so I'm going through my inventory and I'm looking at the implant and I'm checking it and it's Fam's implant so now I am super confused not only do I have the troll stuff I also have Fam stuff so this is just how bad the desync was at the time this is the only thing that can make sense of the situation so we must have had a major desync fam must have knocked him unconscious with the trank arrows he was shooting at him he goes down i go over to loot him on his screen he must have killed fam standing still looted fam and then passed out and somehow when the game jumbled everything back together from on my screen i was looting his unconscious body but i ended up getting fam's implant and all fam stuff plus his stuff so i don't know exactly what went down but this was the start of a long and horrible relationship with the solo troll so from this point on for about six hours this dude was crazy about camping us i don't know if he was a sore loser or what i wouldn't necessarily Call getting knocked out and all your stuff stolen a loss. Well, I guess that, that is kind of a loss, but uh, he did not take it uh, kindly. So for the next six hours, Fam and I were upgrading the base. Uh, we didn't bother to change anything or uh, to try to tame anything. Uh, and we just were constantly watching our back. Every time I go, I mean, we got to the point that he kept coming back and trying to shoot us with another shotgun some more arrows that uh i would not go out with anything on i would just leave all my stuff inside the base and uh continue to gather and then just run quickly to the base and shut the door and get in now i did not put a double door system in which i should have totally did at this point so the door is still a single door and now i'm making improvements to the inside of the base so uh, fam did a little bit of exploring and he found a metal node east from the base at its current location and so he brought back about 30 or 40 metal that he was able to carry back from the nodes that he found uh down at the riverbed 
And so we had that going. We were uh, forging that, and then we finally made a smithy. We finally repaired our metal tools. We're now uh, got full sets of hide armor. All our metal tools are back. Uh, Fam is making arrows and trank arrows for the solo troll that keeps attacking. This guy was relentless. So this is how the battles went down for the next six hours. So he would come up. He would start attacking one of us. He would fail miserably. We would fail miserably. And then he would end up running away. And that just happened over and over and over. And it got to the point where every time he showed up, I didn't even bother fighting him at the last stages. I would just run around until he got bored. Fam would continue to fight him and just like shoot arrows. So pretty much I'd pretend to be bait and Fam would just like shoot him over and over. And so this all accumulated to the point where we stopped doing anything but just fighting him. So this is where I make a huge mistake. So he comes back. We decide just to go full war and go at it. And we throw on our hide stuff. We get our uh, metal tools and uh, or my metal pike. And he gets, fam gets his uh, crossbow metal pike. And so uh, he starts firing arrows. I just have a regular bow at this point. And so I don't bother using the bow. I'm just chasing him, trying to chase him down. But he's drastically faster than us. So... Um, every time he stands still to try to shoot one of us, I would just run up and uh, pike him and then uh, fan would just keep bobbing and weaving. And so he couldn't actually hit us with anything and then he would randomly switch to whatever shotgun he had. He had a decent amount of shotguns because I know at least one of them broke during the fight and he pulls out another one. And so uh, fam is actually getting some hits on this last battle and I'm getting some hits. But the dude keeps spamming blood bags. And so the battle jogs on pretty long. And then the dude switches to a spear. So I guess he's had enough of uh, just trying to shoot us and keep missing. So he starts spearing us. Now, the level difference actually comes into play at this point. He pretty much wrecks Fam's armor. So Fam's running around. Uh, I tell Fam, when you get a break go to the base, take all your stuff off and repair it. And so uh, I take uh, aggression from this guy by running in front of him trying to, to pike him. And so he starts chasing me now. Now I have a little bit more speed than fam. So while this dude is pretty fast with uh, my speed, I'm able to like dodge his uh, attacks easier than fam was at the time because fam was going weight and... Um, HP and he wasn't doing so much in the speed so fam was actually a lot slower than what I was so while the dude can outrun me in a straight line with both of us having a decent amount of speed uh, just going in circles it kind of evens itself out that he would just like jump past me if his massive speed and then I just jump past him with my somewhat fast movement speed and so fam since I repairing his armor I'm outside going toe to toe to the guy and so it's uh, mano a mano. I'm trying to spear him. He's trying to spear me. Now, at this point, I get some good hits on him. And you can kind of tell or you can tell rather easily when somebody's getting low life because their ankles break or their bones break and they reduce speed drastically. And so even though his speed was slower and he's not going to a crawl, he was still moving at good speed. And so... The next thing I see is his player character uh, dash across the river towards the south. And I just see his character go across the river. Now, again, this is only my second day in the game. Uh, I wasn't really too sure what happened with the whole looting thing. Although now I kind of understand how bad the DC desync was at the time so i was still so confused at that point how i ended up getting the solo troll stuff and fam's implant because that just i it blew my mind even to this day that still blows my mind that the game was so bad desync that i could literally loot somebody with somebody alive next to me and then have that person next to me die and then all the items I get are from the person that just died and the dude that just killed him and his stuff. So that it was so weird. So I see his player character run across the water. Now, it didn't swim across the water, which should have 
been a telltale that something was not right. So I'm just standing in front of my base pretty much at this point watching him just go straight across the river and head south and he leaves my render distance. So his character model just disappears. So I'm thinking, okay, so he's running away. Now he had been doing this all day. So this was not something of the unor or unordinary that I was watching, I thought, at that time. And so I go to open the door. And then I open the door. Oh, no, no. The door doesn't open. And so I'm thinking, what's going on? Why isn't the door opening? And then the door opens. And then my health was sitting around, I want to say 75%. He did get some hits with the spear on me a few times when we were jumping past each other. But it wasn't low. And then my health drops just to 10% and then I die. I'm thinking, what just happened? And then Fam's going, why'd you open the door? Why'd you open the door? He's inside now. And I'm thinking, oh, crap. So what had happened was the game had desynced again or lagged or a server lag and the player model I saw running across the river and not actually doing a swim animation across was just a shadow of what was actually going on. So I must have been just standing still on his screen or whatever when the game caught up and he just piked me to death and then I had opened the door on my screen thinking nobody was around and it was safe. It's now this dude is in the base with Fam that is naked repairing his armor. And so Fam goes down pretty much expectedly. I mean, I pretty much blindsided him. So now I'm dead. Fam's dead. And the solo troll is in our base, access to everything. So I immediately respawn at a bed that we had placed for emergency measures uh, across the river over in the grasslands. And so I immediately bolt. Now that bed's on cooldown, we only had one bed there. And so fam had a spawn at a sleeping bag. Now to make things even worse at this point, it was now becoming night. So not only is this crazy guy inside the base from my mess up, uh, we're going to be losing visibility for the next 15 minutes. And so he's pretty much going to have our whole base himself. So I immediately book it to the base. I go across the river and then I see that, um, he's still inside. And so I shut the door on us. So I lock us in. And so it's me and him in there, but I'm naked at this point. So I try to punch him unconscious, but he decimates me with his uh, spear. And so now he's trapped in the base. And so it goes night. And Fam goes over to the base and evidently some guy on an RG. We don't know who this guy is, but we assume this is our first run in with the alpha on the server. And so guy on an RG offers to help uh, us at the time because Fam explained our situation that uh, some guy that was attacking us for the past six hours is now inside our base. And the dude on the RG is like, okay, just open the door. And when he comes out, uh, he'll uh, kill him. And so I tell Fam, no, we don't know who this RG guy is. Uh, Fam can't get a uh, tribe name on him because the dude's just flying above the base. For all we know that this guy could have been one of the people that attacked us originally on the Argent and the Saber. So possibly this is this guy. We don't exactly know who the solo trolls with right at this point. So for all we know, they could be allies, which <clears throat> they it may actually be allies. We find out later on. Anyway, and so I tell fam, no, just keep the dude inside the base. Wait until day. Then we'll deal with him. I already have a plan coming up how to deal with them. So my plan to deal with them was when day comes around, I was going to build ladders and we'll climb to the top of the base. I'll break a hole in the ceiling and we'll make some bows and stuff and just shoot at him from inside the base or from the top of the base inside the base and so at this point it's starting to become day and the dude is kind of still in there doing stuff he's breaking stuff uh i we don't know exactly know what he's doing but he's definitely breaking our storage boxes and so we're like okay we don't really have much of anything most of our stuff went into the base we did just get smithy, but most of the metal we used repairing our tools, which again are now gone. Uh, 
from the time it took us to uh, run back, he had already looted all our bodies, or both family and I. So our bodies were gone. We're pretty much uh, starting from scratch outside of our base. So we quickly get together some thatch, some wood, and some fiber. And we get some hide from um, killing some stuff real quick and some stone and flint. And we just pretty much make some basic tools. It took about five to ten minutes. The dude's still inside. Uh, he tried to bargain with us a little bit. He's like, come on, guys, open the door. Yeah, come on, come on. Just let, just let me out of here. Come on. I won't break all your stuff. I'll, I'll leave you some stuff. Just let me out of here. And I, we're like, yeah, no, you just attacked us for the last six hours. No way we're letting you out of this. And so... Um, I guess he knows this is a no-win situation. So what he ends up doing, by the time we get all our stuff together, we break a hole in the ceiling, we look inside, and all our stuff is broken. Uh, we don't see anything left, and his body's there. And we jump down from the ceiling. We see that he's dead. Well, at first I thought he kind of locked out. But then we get down, and quickly he's dead. We check his body, and it's empty. So he did the nuclear option and threw all our stuff on the ground and despawned everything. So when we got in there, everything was already gone and he broke all our stuff, our bed, the smithy, our storage boxes, our mortar and pestle. I mean, our forge, everything we had in there, all our crappy level 25 and fam 26 stuff was all gone. And but it was still a loss for him because he had to throw his shotgun and his uh, ammo and everything he had on him away as well. So at this point, we didn't see him again. And about a few hours later, we log off as well after rebuilding some stuff. Uh, we did not make another smithy that day. Uh, we just made another mortar, some storage. Uh, the base itself was still intact at this point. And so we log off and we log on the next day. And we log on to find that there is a hole in our base. <laughs> Just in the side of the base, blown away. Or at least I log in to find that I was the first one on that day. And the base was pretty much, I mean, there was nothing in it at that point. When we logged out, the only thing we made was another bed, another smithy, or not a smithy, another uh, large storage box, and a mortar and pestle. And so they destroyed the bed, the storage box, and um, the mortar and pestle. So I don't know if this was a solo troll or if this was somebody else. Uh, that raid on the base was still unknown, but they just blew in one hole. And so I patched up the hole, fixed it, made another bed, uh, we were both dead at that point, but I just spawned at a nearby hut, which actually lasted for quite a while uh, untouched by our aggressors. And so I began uh, expanding the base. My first uh, priority was to build a pen for us to get a, a uh, stego. And fam logs on, and then we knock out a stego, and we start taming a stego. And that takes a while. We uh, bury tin that thing, of course, since we don't have access to any cable at this point. And so we remake a smithy, we re get our hide, and we re get our metal tools. And so pretty much we're doing pretty good uh, the next day. And so I, I continue expanding the base. I make a little shelter for our stego friend. As it's taming, I did a uh, four high behemoth gate structure, not behemoth gate, but a dino gate. So I did a dino gate on both sides and then a wall uh, from north to south. And I used a the wall, uh, the side of the base as a wall. And then I put up another wall and then did dino gates on either side from east to west. So it was pretty much a pass through uh, system. And from there, we just continue leveling and gathering. And at this point, during the time as we're leveling and gathering, I keep seeing a guy on a saber going back and forth from the west to the east. And so uh, Fam and I decide, uh, let's go explore where the saber guy is going because we're not sure if the saber guy is the one that attacked us or not. 
uh, on the first day. And so we end up uh, getting a few stuff. I want to get a enough stuff for a temporary hut to just kind of see where this guy's going. We're going to go as far east as possible to see what we could find. So we start to head east. I got a single foundation. Well, enough to make a little uh, one by one hut and a bed just in case we die along the way and we have to respawn. So we end up heading east. Uh, we end up going uh, past Central Cave a little bit. And we're about in the middle of the map where we have our first run in with one of the Alpha tribes. And so we see Central Cave, we go a little bit past it and we put the base in between the center mountain uh, that's east of the volcano and in between the volcano, kind of uh, south in between the volcano. And so we put this little hut up and this guy on an RG comes down. He starts talking to us and he's like, well, your base is a little close to my mining operation. And he's like, I don't know if you guys should or if we're going to let you guys build here or not. And we're like, um, what do you mean? We don't see any other bases around here. And he's like, oh, it's over there on uh, that mountain right over there. And I was like, you mean that mountain all the way off in the distance? Because we're just a little bit east of Central Cave. So we're not even close to that center mountain. And this guy was definitely trying to enforce some uh, interesting rules. And so we're like, oh, we're we just uh, putting this here so we could go explore uh, Central Cave. But we didn't call it Central Cave. That cave over there pretty much at that point. And so Fam and I end up... Uh, using that base to go uh explore central cave so we end up going into the cave and uh there weren't any arthropleura in there at the time so we only had to deal with the bats the spiders and the snakes and we didn't make it too far in there but we did discover um that from killing the spiders you got a decent amount of uh chitin which is where we were going to try to farm our uh, uh, chitin armor because we're still in leather armor, so we I wanted to upgrade to chitin. So we ended up killing a lot of spiders. There may have been an accident to uh, inside the cave of me accidentally stabbing him and uh, murdering him on accident, trying to uh, help him out with uh, certain spiders. So, you know, he slipped there might have been some salt going around and uh we may have went separate ways in the cave so accidents didn't happen and so we ended up getting a decent amount of uh chitin and uh, made some armor pieces which ended up being a waste uh because we went back to the base and then we logged off for the night and <laughs> when we logged back on the next day so this is now day three uh, for me on this server. Uh, the base had been blown into again. The stego had been murdered and all our stuff had been destroyed again. So definitely <laughs> uh, we were not in a good spot. Uh, so fam wasn't too happy at this point that we had been uh, hit again. So he kind of logged in and logged out. And so at this point, I was like, well, I like the game and I'm not going to quit just because uh, we're getting bullied a little bit. And so I go over to our uh, Chitin cave or the central cave uh, base because now I had expanded it a little bit more since we spent a while in there farming. And uh, that had also had been hit. But it wasn't terrible. Like they had blown just the door. And it was now a, a two by two base with just the storage in there and some fire and a bed. And so uh, they broke the storage, but the fire and the bed were still good. So I wasn't too concerned about that. So main base was hit again. Everything was killed. Well, the only thing we had at that time was the stake was killed. And, um,. Uh, the chitin cave had uh, been hit so I was like well this sucks 
So I remake a door, put that back on there, uh, repair the foundation that had taken a little damage next to the door. And I end up uh, abandoning my mission to go farm the Kitan Cave some more. And I started to head south from uh, central to the mountain that is kind of uh, south of the volcano. And now when I start going up to the mountain, I'm in leather gear. I have uh, new food. And uh, I still have my metal tools because when they blew into the base, I had uh, tiered the lower level. So before the base was just all a open uh, four by five uh, foundations, three high. And after the attack uh, from um, the solo troll, I had put a single high wall around the whole bottom area of the base. And so I tiered all our stuff above it and then I added a double door system then. So now the base has a double door, but the people that blew in blew through the wall of the stego cage, killed the stego and then blew through the wall again and then blew through the uh, next wall that was now the new tiered system that I had. But on the other side, there was a door that led to the underneath the, one of the tiers that's where uh, Fam and I would log out. And so our bodies were safe. They didn't blow again because I guess they assumed that if they blew that and then blew it again, they'd be outside again, so there'd be no point. And um, so we still had our bodies and the gear we had when we logged out. And so now I'm on the South Mountain and I'm checking around and the mountain is littered with foundations and old remains. And I originally went up there to try to find metal or something, but there are literally so many old bases on that mountain that there was nothing spawning on it. So I go to the top of the mountain and at the top there is a open forge area and it says uh, free forge. And it has a smithy and a forge and some other uh, basic stuff like a storage and a mortar and pestle. So I'm like, okay, that's weird. Somebody built a free forge up here. And uh, there wasn't really any metal at that point for me to find. I tried like destroying some of the wood and that stuff with my metal pipe, but I ended up just wasting that. So what I ended up doing was adding to the bases up there so I thought uh, I was going to try to have as many bases as possible because uh, the main base at the river got hit again and the crappy little base we had at Central Cave got hit so I wanted to put a base here at this uh, South Mountain just so I could have a base that's close to both Central and the river base or relatively close to the river base it was just across the river from the Central Cave anyway and so I ended up building a three by three, four high uh, base there of stone. And I put some forges in there, even though there wasn't really any metal to find. There's probably uh, a few nodes down at the base of the mountain going up, but there were none actually spawning at the mountain at this point. And there's a few up there at the top, but with, I mean, where the free forge was was definitely blocking about four node spawns. And then there was just littered foundations all over. It was pretty darn hilarious. And so I ended up making my way down from that mountain back to the river base and uh, repairing uh, the base that had been blown up. So I fixed the pin area. And then I fixed the wall leading to the inner base. And then I fixed the tiered wall uh, at the inner. So now the inside is pretty much like a small pit in the middle. And then a rise around the whole outside wall. And as I'm regathering stuff to repair that, guess who returns? The solo troll. And so I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guy. 
and he ends up running towards um, the south mountain that I just built the 3x3 three three, four high base on. And I'm chasing after him. He goes across the river. I go across the river. And I get to the point where you know that you have this guy. So I hit him. He goes real slow. And I'm just piking him and piking him. And I'm about ready to kill him. He's just trying to flee, jumping. He's not even trying to attack anymore. He's barely moving. And right as I'm about ready to get the last hit, I get picked. I'm now in the air. I'm thinking, what the heck's going on? This RG dude flies me to the top. I'm like, holy crap. This guy's got backup this time. And then he drops me and I fall like a rock and hit the ground. And so I'm thinking, damn, that really sucks. I mean, he saved his buddy just in the nick of time. The solo troll was about to get wrecked. Only I end up going down in the worst way possible. Just picked up and dropped. And the worst part of that is, is that in uh, my rage to kill the solo troll, because I assumed it was him that blew into the base, killed the stego, and then broke the rest of our stuff again. Um, I kind of did not check for a name of the Argent at that time. So I didn't know who it was. And when you get dropped, it just says you're, you get, or you have died and it doesn't say who killed you because you didn't die to anybody necessarily other than the ground and so i really wish that they would like add a feature that if you get picked whoever picked you at that point if you get dropped that it um they kind of necessarily uh did in fact lead to your demise even if the ground is what killed you they're the ones that made you have a high impact with it so yeah that kind of sucked uh, I end up respawning at uh, the Kiratin Cave, thinking that it wouldn't be safe to head back to the uh, uh, river base because uh, now there's a guy on an Argent and the Solo Troll that definitely was going to die, and now he's probably pretty angry. And I mean, I didn't lose stuff. The only thing I had on my body was a metal pike and some hide armor, so it wasn't a drastic loss or anything. And so I spawn at the Kiratin Cave. I start making uh, original crappy stone stuff and cloth stuff by gathering fiber uh, from plants or whatever. And so at this point, I go up to the mountain base and try to break some of uh, the stuff up there to try to get stuff spawned. Uh, the only thing I could break pretty much was the thatch stuff, but that actually helped a lot. I mean, somebody littered that mountain with, and it wasn't just one person. The whole mountain had ridiculous amount of stuff on it. So I started breaking some stuff and started to get some, um, metal to start respawning. So I started mining that and I pretty much got three nodes. I just kept farming over and over while I was up there. Uh, and I they pretty much left me alone for a while. Now we were stuck in this kind of limbo of, uh, in the metal, but not quite metal area because we weren't able to make a fabricator. So the only way to get a fab was to, uh, get oil. And the only oil on the map at the time was in the deep water. And so at this point with uh, the solo troll and constantly getting our base attacked and raided, uh, we were kind of held back a bit. So we ended up just uh, constantly fighting them a lot of our time. Now fam did log on eventually after I repaired the base a few times. And so uh, the solo troll didn't come back uh, for a little bit after uh, I got picked and dropped. So that was the last time I saw him for about two to three days. And uh, after I had farmed some metal on uh, the metal base and I had been uh, forging that and then I started taking that back to the river base and then I ended up extending the back of the river base 
probably 20 foundations and then just uh, was working on making a huge enclosure. And so FAM ended up taming a, uh, another Stego and an Ankylo this time to help us get stone, which ended up not working out because it didn't get very much stone, but it did get a lot of flint, which was nice. And so still the fastest method was to pick stone up off the ground. Now, at this point, uh, the back of the base has been extended 20 foundations. It has gone up uh, three high all the way back, which was quite a job. So now the base is a pretty decent size. Altogether, I would say it was about 25 foundations long from east to west and seven foundations wide from north to south. And so it was a thing at this point. And so now uh, the old Stiegel pen, which is now just was a pass through with a dino gate and then another dino gate after uh, the four foundations now leads to this 20 long, three high empty room, which was very dark. Like at night, you couldn't see from one side to the other, even with the campfire going. And so, uh, one particular night, Fam and I were AFK in the main uh, 4x5 area, and we hear a large explosion, just like, boom, and sort of thinking, what the heck's going on? So we immediately get our torches, we go into the back room, and who do we find? We find the solo troll. Now, in the back room, we were storing our uh, Ankylo and Stego that Fam had tamed. And so, uh, fam and I immediately start going into combat with the solo troll, hand to hand combat at this point. And the solo troll runs out the hole he just blew into the side of my newly constructed back pin. And so I run out after him, and that was a horrible mistake because I am now in the sky looking up at an Argent. And I immediately start to pipe the Argent. Now I did get a tribe name this time. And it was Troll Raiders. So now Troll Raiders have a known association with the solo troll. Which is kind of solo but not so solo anymore. And so he drops me of course and I die. And so now it's fam versus RG dude and solo troll. And so Solo Troll evidently, according to Fam, runs back into the hole. Luckily, the hole is not big enough for the Argent. And so Fam uh, very wisely jumps onto the Ankylo and ends the Solo Troll, which is why you don't run around naked. And so I respawn and I head back out to get my stuff and my stuff is still there. I pick it up, immediately go back in, start looking for the RG guy. But it looks like he's taken off as soon as the solo troll has died. And so I'm going to have to leave the story there and say thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.